In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to this Eucharist with prayer for healing to those who are in our sacrament chapel and also to those who are watching online. Today, the Church of England remembers the English saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. We meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. Amen. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known, and through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. A moment for our own reflection. God of mercy, Lord of life, you are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Embrace us with your love. Heal the memories of hurt and failure, Bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness, make us whole. The passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, whatsoever good you do, or evil you endure, be to you for the remission of sins, the increase of grace, and the reward of eternal life. Amen. The Collect for today. Merciful God, who when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, raised up men and women in this land, who witnessed to their faith with courage and constancy, give to your church that peace which is your will, and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven, and share together in the vision of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We sit for the readings. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as servants for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Do not fear, I have redeemed you, says your Maker. Do not, Do not fear, fear, I have, I have redeemed, redeemed you, says your Maker. On the holy mountain stands the city he has founded, and the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you, says your Maker. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of our God. Of Zion it shall be said, 
Everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you, says your Maker. The Lord will record as he enrolls the peoples. These also were born there. The singers and the dancers will say, All my fresh springs are in you. Do not fear, I have redeemed you, says your Maker. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Amen. to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In these weeks following Easter, we reflect on how the horrific trauma of the crucifixion gave way to glorious life and hope. As Jesus was raised and appeared to his disciples in many mysterious ways. The disciples waited for the power from on high that would equip them and establish the early church. And they were wonderfully empowered to spread the gospel throughout the world. But this was a difficult and a dangerous mission to commit to. As Paul says, in that letter to the church in Corinth that we heard, in that mission they were afflicted, perplexed, persecuted, always carrying with them the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus was made visible. Strongly held belief, beliefs always seem to elicit strong reactions. Religion is strong stuff and people are willing to die for it and also to kill for it when it evokes passionate conflict. Sadly, despite our Lord's gospel of love, human beings tend to distort it for political ends and justify killing those who they consider to be in error. Today the Church of England remembers the witness of the saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. Several hundred men, women, priests, lay people, religious, who were killed. We remember our own church's martyrs who died for maintaining adherence to the Church of England in the face of Roman Catholic persecution. And we also remember those Roman Catholics who died at the hands of Protestants for maintaining their faith and their allegiance. There was true godliness and courage in martyrs on both sides of that divide. There was also great error and great evil committed by those who ordered the martyrdoms on both sides. The Anglican Church is a very broad church, both Catholic and Reformed. There are a variety of opinions held with regard to the positive and the negative outcomes of the Reformation period. Nevertheless, all of us would pray for unity among Christians, the unity that Christ himself prayed for. And all of us would want to repent of the cruelty that was shown in the name of religion during the Reformation. And all of 
us would recognise and give thanks for the courage that martyrs in all ages have shown following their master who said in today's gospel very truly I tell you unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains just a single grain but if it dies it bears much fruit those who love their life lose it those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life may God help us to continue to learn from this period of our country's history. And may one day all our people be gathered once again to celebrate the same sacraments under the one shepherd, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, we pray for reconciliation, peace, understanding and respect between all Christian denominations, especially those in this country. We pray for our friends at St. Spanish Place Roman Catholic Church, High Street Methodist Church. We pray for the leaders of the worldwide churches, Sarah, Bishop of London, Archbishop Justin Welby, Pope Francis, the Patriarchs of the Orthodox Church, and those who lead the Reformed Free and Pentecostal Churches. In this Easter period, draw us nearer and closer to your great heart, Lord, as you pray for us all to be one, that we may show and express your love to the world. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for those who are still martyred for their faith. North Korea, in China, in the Middle East, in Nigeria, many places in the world where Christians are imprisoned, maltreated, or who lose their life. We pray for any in that situation today that you would meet them, strengthen them, and bring them to your eternal home. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. And as we pray for the church, we pray today particularly for the people of Mariupol, especially those who live in darkness underneath that steelworks. We pray for their relief and their release. And we pray for all those countries where those refugees are travelling to, those who are giving them sanctuary. We pray for an end to the conflict. For justice and mercy. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for this parish, for the team who work here, for the builders, for the NHS surgery, our psychotherapy centre, for our schools. Be with us in all the work that we do this day, in your name, Lord, in your mercy. Yes. And as we pray for our schools, especially today for the Bridge School and their building of their new school building, 
We pray for Father Jack as he prepares to become rector at St Giles Cripplegate. And we pray, Lord, that you would send us a new school chaplain to minister to our schools. Lord, in your mercy. Hear your prayer. Pray for all who are sick or suffering. For Royston, Graham, Lewis, Leah, Ian, Felix, Ellen, Nienka, Rachel, Anne, Alex, Tom, Genevieve, Jeremy, Di, Dorothy, Babatunde, Pauline, Annette, Stephen. Bless all who suffer in mind, body or spirit and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray too for Charmaine, Nicola, Marlott, Jean, Jill, Derek, Yvette, Jerry, Peter, Trudy, Carly, Matthew, Mark, Langwang, Sister Eileen, John, Cicely, and Liz. Asking you to bring them your health and wholeness this day. We remember those who have died. Obi and Jerry, Reg, Gladys, Mary, William, Anita. All who have died in the bombardment of Ukraine. For those who will die this day with no one to pray for them. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. Let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And a moment's quiet for our own thoughts or prayers this day. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son. Our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you stand for the peace? The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Yes. Let's indicate to one another that we share Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, blessed are you, God of all Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things. 
who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. But chiefly we are bound to praise him because you raised him gloriously from the dead. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was offered for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death and by his rising to life again he has restored us to everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> in the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. And so forth, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. We offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people. Gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary the martyrs and saints, uh, may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. 
Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. spiritual reception for those who are watching online. In union, dear Father, with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries gathered to make Eucharist, hearing your holy word and receiving the precious body and blood, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I am exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptised and with your Son, who gave his life for us. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in me, and send your Holy Spirit, that I may be filled with your presence. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice, to strengthen us in the power of your Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so we offer the name on of hands with prayer for healing. 
for you, for another, or for a situation you feel deeply about. And we begin by praying for those who are watching online. Come, Holy Spirit. In the name of God, and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit, deliver you from every evil and give you his peace. Amen. God of all compassion, by the dying and rising of your Christ, 
restore us to yourself and enfold us in your love. May we who have been refreshed with the bread of life and the cup of salvation be renewed by your healing spirit and made ready for the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God our Father, by whom we are called to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden, give us faith to go out always with good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit we are made strong, and that your love will never fail us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.